This is a tutorial in creating business cards. So what do we have here? We have a already made business card and this is our target uh, graphics that we're going to create. So first in Corel Draw, uh, the default uh, page setup is a letter size. And so if you want to create a business card, you have to go to the drop down here and choose business card. And if you notice once I click the business card, it the the size here became 3.5 inches by 2 inches. And once you do once you select business cards, you're going to have a a page border which is a business card size. Here in page 2, what I've done in page 2, I extracted all the all the elements that we're going to use for this project so we're going to start in creating the background of the of the business card so in here there's a shortcut uh, key or the shortcut shortcut way to to make the business card border here visible so Double click on your rectangular tool and suddenly you're going to have this business card border which is three and a half by two inches. Okay, now let's look at this, our target uh, graphics here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this with this color here. I sample the color. So I click on my eyedropper tool and click on that color and then hold on shift and fill that okay now and then this one is the is the image that we're going to use okay uh, there's also a, a good way to uh, or a, a, an option to use in Corel draw which is if you go to view click on snap to objects so what snap to object does is once you click on an object and you see if I go to this edge here it snaps to an edge or to a node okay let's say I'm going to go to the middle of this one it says midpoint edge node so I click on the node and I drag it over here to the upper right corner of the of the business card and it snaps right so you know that it's, it will snap and you don't need to align or anything. So in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one until it snaps there. It snaps to the edge. Okay. The shortcut key for that is Alt-Z. Okay. Alt-Z to turn off. So you toggle off and on by Alt-Z. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the object snap because I'm done doing that. So the next thing we have to do is to how do I make the effect of fading going to this color here? So I click on the photograph and then I go to my interactive transparency tool. I click here and drag. Okay. See, I still can see a seam in there. So I'll just move this more and then I'm going to move this black slider going to the right. Okay, so I'm fine. So now it blends with the picture. Now if you also notice in this target uh, graphic here is that it has a orangey color here and in the side too. Okay. So, so I used the, uh, the um, mesh field to do that. So you click on the background. Okay. I know it's a background because see the color is that maroon thing. And then I go to my, you click here, go to your mesh fill, or type in letter M. So once you click on mesh fill, it would have this nodes here. Okay, how does mesh fill work? Okay, it works with, if I select this node, okay, you know it's selected because it's highlighted. And I'm going to put, say, orange here. See, very nice. So in this edge here, I'm also going to select this node. Okay, I'm in my mesh field, uh, mesh field feature here. 
okay so I click on the orange okay so it's more orange now now I also notice that there's a little bit of white in here so what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to put white there but it's it's a bit I can move this okay by selecting these nodes here and then I can move it going to the right side there okay that's close okay very nice okay now now we're ready to to put the logo in I already prepared the file here for the logo so this is the logo so I'm going to put it in the side here go back to the target so I'm gonna make it white okay so if you also notice there's a uh, a drop shadow a hard drop shadow when I say hard drop shadow uh, it's not that soft drop shadow that you see but it's it's you know that's a hard with a black one black drop shadow so F4 so what I'm going to do how do you do the drop shadow okay. so I click on the logo which is all vector Okay, it's not a JPEG or a bitmap. It's a vector image. And you go to your plus sign in your keyboard. Okay, hit plus sign. Now it duplicated it without an offset. Now I'm going to move this one going to the lower right corner. And then I'll make that black. Okay. But then here, I want the white to be on top of the black. So you click on the white logo. You know it's white because in the status bar it says white. Okay. So you go arrange order to front of page. Okay. Now you can adjust the drop shadow. Yeah. Okay, so now you got a drop shadow. F4. Okay, now now I'm done with that, so I'm just going to position it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna position it there. Okay, now this black thing here is actually just a rectangle, so I click on my rectangular tool. Okay, I can go back to my view and snap to objects or Alt Z. So see, it snaps to the edge, so I click and drag. And I'm going to make, make a rectangle and I'm going to click on black okay. and then I'm going to remove my snap to objects again and I'm just going to adjust the thickness of the of that bar and then I'm going to go to my transparency tool uh, okay and then I'm going to click and drag to the left side okay so I'm good with that now now if you notice too that this one it has a very transparent just a duplicate of the logo but it's transparent so how did I do that so uh, I'm gonna choose the white I, mean, I know it's the white logo because here in the South Korea it says white okay plus in your in your keyboard okay the plus sign and I'm going to move it here okay but I only want the only want the bike not the text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to arrange break curve apart okay and then I'm going to delete this and also delete this uh. okay since it's break it's it's already break apart okay I'm going to combine this again so I'm going to make a marquee to select all of that and then click on combine there and then I'm going to enlarge it there and then I'm going to put transparency and I'll just click on uniform I'm going to put more transparency on it there and then I'm just going to enlarge it there that looks good Now I'm ready just to put the text on it. 
So I already type in the text. So I'm gonna put the text here, which is sales services. I'll make that white. Okay. Uh, page order to front of page. Okay. To move it there, and I'm gonna put the top number here. And then I'm going to put this text over here. Right. Okay, so things to remember here when you're making business cards. Uh, if I click on this text here, oops, sorry, it's in here. Okay, make sure you don't go less than 10 points. Okay, uh, less than 10 points, let's say you put 8 points, it's too small to read. Okay, okay, okay now we're done with the design. But then you're going to bring this to a into a printer. I'm just gonna delete this one first. Okay. And F4. I'm just gonna delete this text too and this one. Okay. So we're going to get ready for now we're gonna get the file ready for the printer. Okay. If you bring this to a printer and uh, and you know that it it's a bleed, right? That should bleed. Okay. The printer will require you to make a bleed so so that means to say you're going to put an allowance for cutting the business card so what you have to do is to okay you go to view and go to snap to objects or alt z and then we're going to put some guidelines see it's gonna snap and if you drag one guideline here it's going to snap to the edge too and this one is going to snap to the edge too. And this one going to snap there. Okay. Now we're going to expand. We're not going to expand all of the, I mean the text. Okay, because the text, it, we're fine with the text. We're just going to expand the background because the printer requires you to have at least uh, 0 0.125 of an inch around. Okay. So what we can do, we can create a guideline that's just for us to make sure that we have, when we make a bleed, okay, we're going to have space for allowance for the printer. Okay. So I click on the background because we're just concerned about the background. So I'm going to, I click on the background. I know it's the background because see it's a mesh fill. So I click here and another thing to put to is if you click on view, you click on snap to guideline. So it's going to snap to the guideline. So I click there. And I click here, here. Click here and click here. Okay. Now we also have to expand this one. That's the allowance for the printer. Let's make that like that and I'm going to move this over there okay so the first guiding that we did is that's a cutting mark okay that's where the printer would cut and uh, and then see this black bar we have to extend it too just gonna remove the outline okay so this one now you're ready to to send this to a printer. I'm gonna just do some adjustments here. I'm gonna make that smaller. Because remember, this grid here, okay, those are the cutting mark. Okay. Now another thing to remember too, even though you know that the printer has aerial font, okay, I would suggest to convert everything to curves. So you select all your text and you go to arrange convert to curves. Now why do we do that? So that once you convert it to curves, okay, it won't be fonts anymore, it would be uh, objects. So once you bring it to a printer, it won't find those fonts anymore because that those are object shapes. Okay, so we arrange and convert to curves. There you go. So now you're ready to send this to a printer. So if the printer says, I want an EPS file, so what you do, you 
select the business cards okay you go file export and click on EPS if they want EPS sometimes they would ask for TIFF and then you save it as a TIFF okay so that's EPS and make sure that it's select only and then export and then just click on OK here because this ones are already default which is good and click OK here okay. okay now let's say you just want to have a temporary uh, business cards and uh, you need it badly so what you have to do now is you're going to group this one we're gonna print this in your personal printer okay so you select everything first okay and then group it together you can go to this icon for group or control G okay so now that's grouped together and then make sure if you go to view okay it's already snapped to guideline that's good so we're going to go to your rectangular tool and we're going to create a box because this is the real size of the business card okay? and then we're going to I've got an object here already okay that's the size of the business card click undo so I'm going to click the grouped object which is our business card and then go to effect power clip place inside the container and then the container is this one here there okay well before doing that make sure you go to tools options and you go to edit make sure that this one is unchecked auto center okay, so that should be unchecked okay now so uh, I'm going to delete the guidelines because I don't need the guidelines anymore so guidelines are like objects that you can delete delete okay so my plan here is I'm going to create just uh, I'm going to remove the outline here uh, now I'll remove that later okay so I I want a rush uh, business card and I'm just going to print it a hard stock a card stock in my printer so I'm just going to go to letter here because that's my letter size and I'm going to zoom here so that's my page now and then I'm going to duplicate all of this I think you can fit 10 in one letter size paper okay so now to zoom in here okay what I do for cutting marks so that you could see where to cut this is already power clipped okay? and it has a black outline 0 0.007 inches so I'm going to make that white so you go to your outline outline pen and then you click on white and then click OK so that has a white outline already okay. now we're ready to duplicate this okay, so make sure it's still snapped to objects okay. so I'm going to click on the plus sign on my keyboard to duplicate without offset and then I'm going to drag the object from this node going to the right okay. notice there's a white line there that's good because that's our cutting mark okay. and then you select these two okay and then plus sign your keyboard okay we're still snapping to object so get that node and drag that down okay and then I can actually go control D to duplicate there, F4 there you can make 10 in one letter size paper so after printing this since we have a a white outline here so that's here the guide for you to to cut to cut the business cards that's it